What's up guys, Pokelander here and today we'll be doing an, the, the, another, another uh, ETB battle, uh, Paradox Rift versus Scarlet and Violet Base. Um, yeah, uh, I love doing these and uh, let's just see which one has the better hits and yeah, let's just start ripping. Alright, well here they are, here are the two ETBs, Paradox Rift and Base, Scarlet and Violet Base, the Baryon version this time. Um, if you haven't seen my last video of how to evolve versus uh, the Karide on Scarlet and Violet base set ETB. Uh, that one's pretty good. Um, but yeah, uh, here is the Maridon version though. The one I wanted only. Um, but I had to buy both in like a d deal because it was just such a good deal. I couldn't say no. Uh, ooh, I kind of scratched. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, well. um, but yeah, here is Scarlet and Violet base, the Maridon version though. I don't have to show this because I showed this last video. But uh, I guess the only card we're really hunting here is the, Mar the Miriam. And the Maridon. Um, but there's some really nice cards in here. I will say some fantastic, fantastic illustration rares. Uh, Amarogen and Slowpoke are fantastic. But yeah, there it is. Like normal, just nine packs. Scarlet and Violet Base. Here is the promo card, which is a card I really wanted for so long. But the Maridon illustration rare promo card. Fantastic art right there. Here's the cut for the box. Pretty nice sleeves though. I do like the red better, but Marina is cooler. And really nice dividers, I will say. There it is. Here's Paradox Rift. Another fantastic set in Scarlet and Violet, but the hits are a little bit different. A little bit, just, just a little bit. Um, a little bit harder to pull things, but not by much. Like, li like literally not by much. Um, but this is the scent where it, the scent started changing, the hit rate started changing just a little bit. Instead of, in a booster box, instead of pulling two SARs, you're either getting an SAR or a gold card. Um, one or the other. Not like in these early sets where you can get two. Um, but some fantastic cards in this set too. I think it's a very underrated set. Um, you know, everyone loves Poly Evolved, uh, which, you know, I could totally agree, but this set is also just great. I mean, that Groudon, $60 for a reason, right? It's fantastic. Um, plus some minimum right there. Really nice cards. On the Yvolto, the Morpeko. The, even the Trash, bro. That game's cool. The Steelix is really nice. The Apom. Just fantastic cards. Parasol Lady, my, that's my girl. Um, but the the Garchomp SAR, the Tepe Coco, the Iron Valiant, and the Roaring Moon. That Parasol Lady... Dude, I mean, this, these cards are great. I mean, I'll get that. Oh my god, so many fantastic cards in this set. A very underrated set, in my opinion. There it is. The nine packs is normal. Paranox Rift. Really nice dividers, the Iron Valiant. Go for the box. Pretty nice sleeves. And a fantastic Iron Bundle Deli Bird promo card. Fantastic. Here's, not, here's 18 packs of uh, Paradox Rift and some base. Let's start off with Paradox Rift. Let's see if we pull the Parasol Lady. That is still probably my number one favorite waifu card in Scarlet and Violet. Carmine and Pierin are close, but Parasol Lady is my OG girl. I own this pretty good too. Um, but yeah, no, Parasol Lady is fantastic. I do have that card, but I would love to pull it 100%. But Pansy. And we're starting off with the Iron Jungulus. Fantastic illustration rare. Uh, I'm really surprised that this card's not. I mean, I'm not saying this card should be like 20 bucks or anything, but like it's so good. I know Iron Jugulus is the is the future version of um, Hydreigon, so obviously it's a little bit not liked because it's like, you know, it's just not originally Hydreigon. Um, but I mean, that card art is fantastic. There it is. Fantastic start. I don't have this card, so I'll definitely take it. Next pack, starting off strong. Let's see if we can continue the heat. But come on. There it is. Alright. Spinda. Tinka Tink. Tender Mouse. Dweeble. Ooh, Steenia. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Sebstranka. Brutes. Bonnet. Surskid. And a Galossopod. Regular, regular EX. Pretty nice EX, though. I like how the body's like seen right there. It looks pretty cool. Glossopod is pretty cool, I will say. Glossopod is pretty cool. Next pack, a Paradox Rift. Come on. We still don't have the Roaring Moon SAR. I would love to pull it. 
I would love to pull the ground on. I have that car too, but I bought it for like 20 bucks back in the day. And now that car is like 60. I would still love to pull that card. That would be a fantastic card. I love that card. So being able to pull it would be great. But we do want Parasol Lady. Come on. Another. Ye what? <laughs> Wait. What the heck? I would actually, I haven't done that in so long. Pulling the same EX back to back in the same box. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Not the one that we want twice in a row. Um, but hey, I mean, hits are hits, right? I'll take it. Hopefully they didn't take a spot of an SAR or something. But next pack, come on. <laughs> That's pretty funny, I will say. I guess it happens sometimes. But, uh, come on. Let's not do that again. But mindful, Pharisee, no more EXs for this box, please. Give us the heat. Earthen Vessel. Come on. Ah, Garganical. Regular, regular hollow. Next pack. Yeah, honestly, I used to not like opening anything other than booster boxes, but uh, booster boxes are fun too. I, I, you know, the guaranteed 12 to 14 hits is always nice, but um, sometimes ETBs are just super cheap, and sometimes I just, you know, they're just the best to open, uh, especially when I don't want to open up any of my booster boxes that I'm holding. Uh, you know, the booster boxes are king uh, if you're trying to hold some stuff for a long term. But a really nice Palkia, regular Hollow, Paradox Rift. Come on, let's see. Come on, we gotta get after giving us that dupe. We gotta get something better than that. We gotta get at least something better than that dupe Glossopod. But Gibble, Blitzel, Bone Sweet, Feebass, Energy, Bundle, Toad's Cool, ah, Iron Moth, Regular Hollow. Come on. Three packs left, I believe. Let's see if we can pull anything better. Come on. I will say, Paradox Rift is a bit better than. Or a good amount better than base, but base set, it's kind of on the base. I've never had an opening without pulling an SAR. Maybe this will be it, but I do not know. So this has to pull something better than that. Ah, nothing there though. Last two packs right here. Come on. Give us something, Paradox Rift. Come on. Gold. Alright. Ooh, Apom, I got you, Mike. Man Tyke, Pantage, Simisage, ah, oh. Future Bundle. What is this? Ah, oh, just a regular hollow. I thought it was an illustration rare. Last pack of Paradox Rift, come on. You gotta get something. I swear that EX took a spot of something. It had to have. There's no way it gave me the same card. Apom, Chocated, Swablu, Pantseer, Orthworm. Ooh, for Coco, copying uh, Charmander. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. It looks like Sandy Shocks. I do not have that card, so I will not be mad if that is Sandy Shocks. But it could be Gold Dango, I believe. Maybe it doesn't look gold. But I think it's Sandy Shocks. Maybe Tapu Coco. And it is Sandy Shocks. Fantastic SAR pull right there. There it is. Yeah, man. They don't do it like this anymore. Scarlet and Violet really nerfed the hits rate. And, uh,. Temporal Forces and Twilight Masquerade. I will say though, I mean, I guess it makes the cards more valuable, sure, but I mean, being able to pull just a random SNR and an ETB always goes hard. But there it is Sandy Shanks SIR. All right, Paradox Rift. That was a good ETB. But I will say, like I said, Base Scent has not let me down so far. Let's see if today's the day. Come on. I will say though, Paranoid Rift has let me down before in the past, so and it brought it back with that SAR pull. So maybe I mean it, it could it could always happen. Come on, but you never know. And starting off with the Crown regular regular EX right there. Starting off slow, nothing crazy. Next pack, really nice start with. I love the starters in this generation. Quaxley's not Quaxley's good, but the evolution is not that good. But Coco, the Skeletor is just fantastic. A Masquerada. Honestly, grew on me. Quavo though. I don't know about that mofo, though. <laughs> the next pack, come on. Small Olive, Olive, Wiglet, Graveyard, really nice. Mesh Chief, Drift Bloom, Fall, Pancherisu, Forgato, and King Gambit, regular hollow. Next pack, come on. That Sandy Shocks pull is really nice. I will definitely take it. Nothing crazy, though, I will say. But it is a SAR regardless. I will definitely take that no matter what. 
Um, so it's a card that we don't have. I'll, I'm really happy about that. But let's see if Scarlet and Violet can bring the heat as well. We might have an actual competition in this video, but nothing there. Come on. All right, next pack. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh, what the heck? That was kind of hard to open, actually. What the heck? Um, next, next pack. Come on. Meditite, Energy Switch, Grimer, Basket, Bombiter, Hypno, Palmy. Oh, Professor Richard Rayleigh really Hollow. All right, all right, come on. Next pack. Come on. I believe, I believe, I believe. Sandow. Mareep, Sandaconda, ooh, Katie, I did, Katie's actually looks really nice, I would love to get her full art, she doesn't have an SAR sadly, ah, there it is, ah, no, don't show me that mofo, next pack, I've avoided him enough in these sets, so hopefully we can keep on avoiding that mofo, <laughs> but come on, Small of Olive again, Paramape, Palmy, Tarantula, Flamigo, Fortress, Helmet, Toad's cool, a goat. I didn't know Goat was in here. That's cool. I like a goat. And Houndstone. Regular. Regular Hollow. Ugh. Starting off really slow. I believe there's only three packs left. Let's see. Like I said, you never know. It's been a fantastic set to me. I've been very lucky, but I mean, not. It's not. Nothing's guaranteed. You can always just get unlucky. Sand Goose. Crow Gunk. Driftblim. Ball. Pancharisu. Right on reverse. Ooh, Riolu. Oh, I'm digging a full art, though. I will definitely take a full art. Great Tusk. Nothing crazy, though. Great Tusk, regular full art. A full art that I don't have, but I'll take it. Not Katie, sadly. Not Miriam. Or, yeah, Miriam. Nothing crazy, but it is a full art. I'll definitely take 100%. See, packs. I mean, come on. We gotta do better than that. We're competing with an SAR. We gotta get at least something close to that. Maybe a fantastic illustration rare. Or another SAR. Or a gold card. Or another full art. I mean, I don't know. We gotta, we gotta get something better than that. Toad's Cruel. Fashold. Potion. Ah. Dang. Cyclozar, regular hollow. Last pack magic. We kinda need it. I will say the full art's nice, but we kinda need it to compete with Paradox Rift right here. Um, this might be the first time that, you know, base lets me down. Um, like I said, it's bound to happen. You're, I'm not, you know, you're not gonna get everything every, every time. A Bumbitter. Hypno. Penny. Oh, it did let me down. Ah, what a, uh, okay. Last ETB, I got really lucky, and the past few Scarlet and Violet base set has been pretty good to me. Um, but this time, I mean, not too bad, but, you know, compared to, I mean, compared to pulling an SAR, I mean, two of the same EX is kind of funny, and a fantastic illustration rare. Yeah, I think we know who won that one. I will say, though, like I said, it's bound to happen. Scarlet and Violet base has been good to me. This is the first time it was okay. But yeah, uh, there's a video and I'll flip the camera and end this video real quick.